So no. Why are you on the keyboard? What are you doing, boy? Hmm? You're sitting on the keyboard. Get up. Da. Off you go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, this week the vlog will be slightly different uh, than the usual. Uh, that's because I'm planning to clean my mouth organ, my harmonica. So as I go ahead and clean this one, I really want to show you guys how that entire process works. Uh, maybe if you play harmonica and or if you have harmonica at home, and if you really want to clean it up, then uh, maybe this video might help you out. Let's do one thing without any further ado. Let's just get into it and I'll show you all how to clean a harmonica. Okay guys, so I have my harmonica over here. Uh, this was actually gifted to me by my wife uh, a couple of years ago. I mean, this was actually my birthday gift uh, before our marriage. So she gave me... I think in the year 2016 maybe, uh, that's when she had gifted this to me. It's a wonderful uh, harmonica, it's in the key of C. Uh, I hope you all know how harmonica works, they come in uh, different keys. Uh, yeah, unless it is not a chromatic uh, harmonica. Fine. So I used to play a lot, uh, I love harmonica, uh, but uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's uh, been more than a year since I've played this harmonica. Uh, somehow I never, uh, you know, kind of continued practicing it. Uh, but I really want to, you know, kind of at least keep a touch of it, right? But at the same time, I really didn't want to, you know, kind of play it uh, directly because I don't know uh, how dirty the uh, inside portions of uh, this harmonica might be because uh, it wasn't stored in a box as such. Though I do have a box. But that box was empty when we shifted the house and all the stuffs. Uh, this was not stored properly. I really want to clean it up. So when I thought of cleaning this harmonica this week, uh, I thought let me actually take you guys through it and show you how I would clean this. So I'm gonna just uh, take out the correct uh, screwdriver for this and open it up. So you can see here, I don't know if you can see, there are screws, right? So I have to remove these screws. So once I remove those uh, screws, there are like one, two, three and four, four screws. I have to remove them. Once I remove them, uh, both the metal pieces come out and uh, then I can clean all the reeds and everything and screw it back. So let me just, you know, unscrew this. Six and I think uh, there are seven more these are the reeds I've taken them out you can clearly see them and you can see the dust over here you know I'm gonna actually uh, dip them in lukewarm water and the next thing what I'm gonna do is uh, clean this well, this is actually, uh, it is plastic nowadays, but uh, earlier it used to be wood. And this metal, I can just scrub it off, not an issue at all. Okay guys, so this is basically uh, lukewarm water. I'm gonna just dip it inside that for a while. The lukewarm water. Let it sit there for a while. Meanwhile, uh, I can actually clean this. It's nothing big deal. I can just, you know, kind of... So I'm just cleaning this using this uh, toothbrush that I have here. We have to be very careful while doing this and should not damage these reeds. Cool. Uh, yeah, now all I have to do is dry this and repeat the same process to this reed as well and dry that. And then I'll have to clean this 
this again is pretty much easy it's basically plastic it's not wooden so i really don't have to worry i can just run it under the tap uh, and it should be fine i can just blow dry it once so basically i used uh, you know uh, dishwasher the regular dishwasher with lemon in it i even immersed these reeds in those uh, you know lemon dishwasher soap based liquid and then i have blow dried everything uh, pretty easy just use any of your uh, hair dryers uh, that's what i did while arranging this uh, back you'll have to just keep a note of these you know i don't know if you can see uh, these lines that you can see here okay so these lines uh, you can see the size this is the longest and this is the shortest in size this is the smallest one and uh, this is the longest one right so similarly in reeds you have the smallest and the longest so you'll have to just align them accordingly So I have to just, you know, kind of tighten this. It's ready. That's it. It was as simple as that. Cool, guys. So I think that's it for this week. Uh, I'm actually I need to practice uh, for my concert as well. So I'll get going. Okay, guys. So I'll catch you all next week with a royalty-free music track on Tuesday, and my next vlog on Saturday. Until then, please take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Stay safe and stay musical as always. If you have liked this content, please hit the like button, share it among your friends. If you are new around here, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell so that you'll get notified each time I upload something new. Okay guys, I'll catch you all next week. Stay safe, stay musical. Peace.